everyone, welcome back to another Lord of the Rings action figure review. These are the Season 6 figures from Diamond Select. We're going to be looking at Saruman the Wise to start off. Uh, doing a little bit, bit of a comparison to um, the Toy Biz counterpart from yesteryear. Almost 20 years ago. It probably was 20 years ago. Um, and the next video we'll be looking at Samwise Gamgee and having a look at him alongside his, uh, his friend Frodo Baggins. So yeah, like I said, Season 6, uh, Series 6 of Diamond Select's range of Lord of the Rings action figures. I don't have the packaging anymore. I opened this one about a week ago. Um, and yeah, I thought we'd get straight into it. Now, he does come with a couple of extra set of arms, which I actually really liked how this was done. So basically, we've got two sets of sleeves that are sort of folded up like so. So you can have him displayed holding his staff holding the Palantir, as we have here. We'll get a closer look at that afterwards, and his extra hands. And I'm going to sit that in his hand so it doesn't roll away. <laughs> and then we have this arm, sleeve, which is sort of just sitting down, so you can have like a relaxed stance like he has on that side. And they're quite simply just pop in, pop out, nice and easy. There is some weird sort of articulation in... The sleeve there, there's like a double barbell joint. It allows for a little bit of wriggle. It's a little bit strange. Um, probably like a hinge joint might have been a little bit nicer. You can get a little bit of up and down just to sort of... Or, you know, swing it around. It looks a little bit strange when you... Yeah, but for the most part, this is going to be a display piece on a shelf. So the way it's sort of sitting like that, one relaxed arm, one sort of holding the staff looks, looks good. I'm quite happy with that. Sculpting's come out really nice. Let's see if we can get a little bit more light. Let me risk a little more light. So there we have. Yeah, again, the hands are very easily swappable. Which is good. Now the extra hands. This is um this was a bit of a strange one actually. So we basically get two hands that are very much there's not much difference between the two. And in the packaging, this hand actually came, or one of the two hands actually came in the, the wrong sleeve, like so. So whether it was an intentional thing, just, you know, it was just a place to put the hands in the packaging. Because um, I've seen this in a couple of other reviews where they've gone, oh, well, maybe it's just, you know, they've packed the wrong hand in. Um, my sort of theory goes with the fact that it's just, it was just somewhere to put the hand in the packaging. Um... Yeah, you get those two hands. Like I said, we get the uh, the hand that holds the Palantir, which is it's got a little bit of like an amber transparency. You probably see that if you stuck a light behind it, you can kind of see that. With the stupid light doesn't flicker. Um, there's a little bit of light to it. It'd be cool to see one painted up with the Eye of Sauron, I reckon that'd be really cool. And then of course his staff sit. And of course his staff here, with his gripping hand, just to sort of be able to hold that. And yeah, this this hand here, which is you know, it's just a relaxed hand almost. Sits down there on the side. We'll get a good look at Saruman here. He looks good. It's a nice, nice likeness of Christopher Lee. That's the white wizard. Let me move that out. We'll get a good look at his staff. A little bit of paint bleeding there on the white, but you could easily touch that up if you had a, you know, a, a little black marker. If there's something like that bothers you, it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, just a pretty simple, simple dowel piece almost. Good look at his head sculpt there. It looks nice. So the shading on the hair gives it a little bit of depth. It's very, very whiter. 
chiseled beard almost. <laughs> it looks good. The way his hair just sort of flows down the back there it looks nice. It's got like the shadows under the eyes. So showing his age a little bit there. Sort of nice skin tones as well used there to sort of to sort of show those details. I love the sculpting on the robes, all these sort of ornate details down the trim of his robes. And even the patterns that are sort of etched into the sleeves. It's really nicely done. And it takes a takes a sort of a simple white creamy coloured robe and just gives it a little bit of history. It gives it a lot of history. And there's sort of these little buckle clasps across his shirt. You kind of see it follows around the back there. So it's quite a it's quite a thick sort of plastic, so it's not super easy to flex and mold around or anything. But for display purposes, I'm fine with that. Like it doesn't need to be anything more. I'm I'm good with that. You know what, let's pop the arms off, I'll show you how they work. Let me pop that one out too. We'll derobe Saruman here so you can kind of get a bit of a look. Yeah, nothing's too special on the back there. We'll pop that back on. Tight, snug fit. There we go. It's got it. And yeah, you can kind of see the. There's no sort of cut in his lower sort of dress here, so you can kind of just sort of see the cream pants. I've got a little bit of blue tack on his feet just to um help him stand a little easier. You can see his boots. So it makes it a little bit tough to sort of pose and articulate if you've got some stands that fit these pegs. You know, that may be something I'll look into just to aid in their stability a little bit. It'd be lovely to be able to pose up the wizards, you know, in a in sort of a two-handed pose so you can have them sort of having their wizard battle. We've got Gandalf here to compare. This is Gandalf the Grey. I have done a review of him in the past. I will put a link at the end of the video for that review. You can check that one out. But yeah, we'll get a look at the... Uh, let's see what year this was. Well, there is a year on the bottom of the foot here. 2001. We're talking 23 years at this point. So yeah. He's standing a little bit shorter. Still got some nice detailing and, you know, he still looks good for the age. He came with the sort of the, the palantir and a stand. He's got the magnet in his in his hand, so he could sort of hold the palantir up. That had a little magnet in it too. You kind of have him standing at the top of the mountain, chanting to bring down the mountain. And a little bit more of an aggressive look on his face. And this figure held up for a long time. It's, uh, it's still not bad. I, I like the Toy Biz stuff. Uh, Daniel East 1000 is doing some Lord of the Rings Toy Biz reviews at the moment. And it's really cool to sort of go back and get that little spark again. It's, it's great to see. And sort of matching the details. It's obviously, they had little... 
whack, 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 whack. <laughs> yeah, a lot really loving the uh, Diamond Select Lord of the Rings figures. Coming out really nice. I'm excited to see where they're going to go with the line. And they're very sporadic, which is fine with me being like a secondary secondary line for my collection. You know, obviously mainly being Star Wars, but, you know, having a couple of figures come out every few months, every four to six months, I think. I'm not sure exactly. It's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll be looking at Samwise Gamgee next. Really nice figure. I'm excited to share that one with you guys. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Saruman the White. Really nice. But we'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the rings be with you, always. We would be honoured if you would join us.